Hi guys, on my last video I did show a number of different approaches to doing bark and branches. If you like to do birds or if you just like to do the, the trees and learn how to do the branches for your background material. And today I'm going to work a little bit on my latest drawing on the branch that the bird is sitting on. I have gotten a lot of the basic colors laid down, but just look at how you can work the colors into the shadow, work the values, and work with the, the modeling of the color and then the sharper lines to bring out different uh, parts of the branches that are a little more craggy or to show the, the sharper edges. So we'll just take a look at some of what I'm doing there. There's so many approaches to doing branches and working with your colored pencils. And in each drawing that I do, I find that I'm using different approaches depending on, on what the character of the branch is. Some of them are very craggy and rough, and some of them have a very smooth texture. And so it's more interesting to have those different types of challenges. Some of them have moss. So we'll just look at the one that I'm working on right now and hope that gives you some ideas. I've already gone in and done some of my lighter areas. And now I'm going to go with a little bit stronger pressure here to bring those areas up in this branch. This is not a white pencil. It's a, it's a very pale color. You can see it's got a little bit of a, of a very light pink cast to it. But I'm doing this on a toned paper. If I had a white paper, then I would not be using this in the same way I might go in to bring some things out, let's say over a light blue or something like that, but um, on this toned paper I can actually use this to bring up the lighter colors. I'm just going back and increasing the contrast in value, okay, so as I've been starting to put some shadows in, I'm wanting these white areas to come up a little bit more, and so I'm using a little bit more pressure on this very light colored pencil in these areas. I'm working in a circular motion for a very smooth, this is a very smooth bark in most areas, to blend. And the color layers that I've laid down are giving me something to work with, like blending paints together. Uh, if I was on the bare paper, then I'd have to go with a much lighter touch. So I'm just, again, going across my branch here. And bringing up the white areas. Now I've gone to a darker green pencil. And I'm going to shade up some of the areas along the branch with this darker green. Again, working in the pigmentation of the layers that I've already put down. And I'm looking at my photograph to see. Okay, so there's a branch here that's throwing a shadow. And so I want to now bring up that shadow from the branch above it. I'm still keeping a very, very light touch because I'm not... You can see I've, I've used some sharper points to bring in some of the details in the branch. And I'll go back in after I've done more shading and see if I want to add more. But this is, this is all with these light circular blending movements. Now I'm using this shading here. I don't want to draw a line there, but I, I want to emphasize this texture this three-dimensional shape in the bark. So I'm I'm using shadow to do it. I'm working this green into the shadow. I've got already purple, brown, and a black and a gray in my shadow. And I'm now working in working in the green there. Always bring your eye back so you can see the colors blending. Just take a look at the, the branch here where I've deepened in the, the green. And you can see as we move across the branch, I already have some of the greens laid down. 
but you can see they're not as dramatic here as they are where I've just been working. So I'm going to work these deeper colors and I wasn't real anxious to go in in the beginning and make that deep a statement. You want to get pigment down and then you can take the time modeling it. So I'm going to be modeling that green across the branch. So I'm going to go in here now and deepen the purple to try to bring out more contrast in the branch where the shadows are, are coming up. And again, blending all this together. And I'm going in a little, a little stronger pressure now. I'm going in here now on the, along the top of the branch. You can see this focus here. Bringing in a sort of a burnt yellow color to bring in some of the warmer areas. And I'm going to go in here and sharpen this edge. And I am going to go to the black. And my decision here on the light and shadow, looking carefully at the photograph, I'm going to darken in this area and, and use that to bring the branch forward and then make the branch darker here. So my values will be more dark to light. And then, although this is dark, this will be a bit lighter. I already put some yellow in there. And then along here, I'm going to follow the same pattern. I'm going to darken up some of the tree trunk coming up against the branch so that my line work here will begin to disappear. And I've gone in here with the brown right, to bring up these little knobs on the branches. Now I'm using much more pressure here because I really want this smooth blending into the shadows, but I want also the sharp edge. I really want this contrast here with the background. So it's very, very dark using the black. And I'm going to also then work through these lines again to blend them at the bottom all along the branch. Now there's a long way to go in my drawing. I'm going to do lots of work in the background and render these other branches a little bit more detailed. Uh, all this takes quite a bit of time, but I wanted to just zero in on that branch where the cardinal is sitting and um, see if I get a little closer there. I've darkened up the lines coming in from the bottom and made a point here of making this area lighter against the dark you can see the values coming up a little bit. And I'm going to move on now to work a little more on the cardinal. And um, eventually we'll take a look at the finished drawing. But just looking at, at the handling of the, um, the tree bark and branch, 